today I'm going to show you how to publish uh, MS Office icons on RDS services. So the last video, how to install uh, RDS services on 2016. So now I am going to show you how to publish MS Office icons. So let's go to dashboard. You can see the uh, remote desktop services. Click this one and over you, you can click uh, set quick session collection. So these are the properties of the collection. So you want to change any or any properties you can and click on general. So I want to sh change the quick collection to MS Office and go to groups. So it's a default domain user. So I want to add MS Office group. Already it is created in domain controller AD. So I want to remove default users and the session session and a disconnect session never it is mentioned so if user is disconnect the session so it should be logged off so I'm keeping 15 minutes and active session should be never so if user is working the session should not be disconnect so it should be never the ideal session it should be 15 minutes I'm keeping a default and when a session limit is reached or uh, a connection is broken so it should be reconnect new session and temporary folder settings uh, delete temporary folders on exist exit and use uh, temporary folders per session so this is one and uh, security I'm giving a negotiate and client compatible some uh, organization use high and uh, IFPS complaint so everything you can use high security also the load balancing settings so you can add RDS servers uh, for load balancing so if sessions uh, increase so it will load balance to the multiple servers and client settings uh, audio and video playback audio recording smart card all the things will be default no changes and the user profile test suppose user need a uh, share folder to be added uh, when the application is open we can add the share folder name so that the user can access we can give multiple and uh, you can give the uh, store only the following folders these folders can be visible if you want to and uh, click apply now the collection name will be MS Office And this is the first properties uh, we have done uh, quick session collection properties so how to add uh, applications on a remote app program so now we'll do the session collection is running right now it taking time Uh, before that, uh, I want to request everyone, uh, please uh, watch this video till end so that you will have to know how to install RDS services on uh, remote uh, services on 2016 and how to publish. So you can continue on the next video also. Done. And I am going to publish now MS Office. So remote app programs, click publish, deploy remote app program. Uh, remote app programs, it is retrieving the list from the remote app program that are available for publishing. So it is verifying the applications installed on existing server. So let it verify. It is ret once it is retrieved all the applications will be displayed uh, with the location right now it is done so I am going to add MS access and Excel and I am going to add Word, Outlook, OneNote, PowerPoint, Publisher 
word these I, uh, icons I'm going to publish uh, MS Office these are the applications I'm going to publish on uh, RDS URL so click publish yeah please wait while the remote app programs that are uh, that you selected are being published to the collection so MS Office is the collection if you see here live site uh, you can see now MS Office so MS Office is available here the collection name and now the applications are uh, adding see see this is the uh, default applications is already added calculator paint wordpad the remote uh, desktop connection so now we are going to add uh, multiple uh, MS Office publish icons let's wait it's it will configure individual icon Okay, now all the seven applications has been published click close applications with user icon click sign in the authentic the authentic the authentication will will verify and uh, okay now the current folder having all the applications published so I want to open calculator it will connect to the RD server click connect yeah right now I given a uh, 2 GB RAM for uh, RI long time long time if you give a sufficient uh, memory and CPU so that it will be uh, a speed performance is required uh, if users are accessing remotely it should be minimum uh, 2 core and uh, 4 GB minimum 4 GB should be there please wait the local session manager is loading so it is connecting to the RDS server and it will take a remote and the application will be directly launched yeah the calculator is now open type you can type you can do anything you can directly close also so I will open wordpad connect so wordpad and you can and you can type whatever you want and you can save the location locally on the workstation and this is one and let's go to open MS double double click Okay, loading surface is loading now. Document, document, document. You can select and you can type whatever you require. And one minute, I'm going to file which already written so it can be saved in the local workstation. And MS Office uh, two, two, one minute, yeah. Click save button, so document will be. You can close here, and you can go to MS Office. Yeah, the wordpad, uh, it's loading okay 
first, first time I'm using this MS Office. Like this, we can publish more applications from RDS server, and uh, you can remotely, remotely on the uh, office network, or uh, you can publish this RDS URL in external world. Like it's from remotely on your know, remotely on your know, remotely on your know, remotely, you know, remotely on your uh, machines. You can access from your uh, laptops or workstations anywhere. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, please uh, do not miss uh, clicking on subscribe and click on bell icon to get more videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.